Okay, so now I'm going to show you all how to decant it. If you have good eyesight like me, you may not need a candle to help you, but you actually pour it in. Whoops. channel and for the new ones who probably came across this video my name is Elena and welcome to house of Elena so this evening I'm going to do a video on how to decant wines and why we should decant wines and then I'm gonna do a demonstration and probably just talk and ramble on while I'm teaching you all how to decant wines and why we should decant wines now before I get any further into the video, I just want to remind you all to do this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Elena Elaine. Thank you for watching. Okay, so, right, so we're talking about how to cant wines, why, and what is decanting. I'll start with what is decanting. Decanting is really taking new or an old wine and pouring it into a decanter. So a decanter may look like this, all right, which this is sort of cloudy, but this is a decanter. Or if you don't have a decanter, you don't need to feel bad about it. You can just use a, a regular pitcher to decant your wines in. And, um, make sure you have your wine glasses. Now, most of the times, uh, the canton is done with red wines because the sediments after a while, uh, a wine sitting in a bottle for quite some time tends to build sediment, which in local terms, we like to call it dregs. But it's really when wine breaks down um, after the fermentation process and um, being in a bottle for so long, it starts to sort of break down now when i say break down doesn't mean that the quality of wine decreases that is not what i'm saying actually the quality of wine increases but we don't want to serve guests wines that has all the sediments in it it sort of turns people off that kind of way so they just have this wine decanted now uh, I would also would like if persons who are in the restaurant industry can probably take in this knowledge because I mean that's my background and I've been doing that for a long time so I felt that probably servers can also benefit from this video okay all right so like I said I have my decanters and I have my two bottles of wine one is actually local and one is a wine from Australia this local wine is made by Luke Lashley. Luke, thank you so much for this because actually this wine is already, uh, it's eight years old, all right, 2012. And it is a wine named Jamun, all right, it's a fruit wine. And the reason why I wanted to have a local wine as well is because wine in Trinidad and Tobago which I'm from um, we like a lot of homemade wines made of fruits and different vegetables and what have you and after after a while these wines as well does have sediment so as much as it's more recognized for grape wines and actually fruit wines is not really recognized they only more or less recognize the grape i still wanted to bring that local feel and to do a decanting with a local wine now the gym the jamun sorry this wine was actually red but over time the color would have changed but the quality of the wine is still there actually it's probably even better I don't want to shake the bottle up too much because all the sediments are at the bottom of this bottle. And I also got this Windham Estate Bin 555 Pinot Noir, which is the name of the grape. And this is also 2012, so this wine is all, also 8 years old. It's, it's not really considered an old wine, 
but it does have sediments in it already. The other thing I have is a candle. Why I have a candle is because usually be, you know this, this bottle is very dark. All right, so you need to see when the sediments has reached the neck of the bottle and this is why the shape of the bottle is this way because it kind of helps you to see uh, when the sediments has reached the neck of the bottle you would stop pouring. And of course you, you use it over a candle so you can actually see when the sediments reach the neck of the bottle to stop. And wine glasses. Okay, so where do I begin? So what I'll do is I will start with the red wine. Okay, and then I'll do the local wine. Um, did I tell you what is the cant and why we decant? We decant for two ways, um, or two reasons rather. Um, one, we decant new wines, you can decant new wines, and you can decant an older wine. The newer wine, most of the times people decant it because, as I said, it's really red wines uh, is decanted, not really white and it needs that oxygen and it needs that balance. Sometimes new wines tend to be a little bit disjointed. So before you pour it for your guests, which I would recommend 30 minutes before you serve, you pour it out into the canter, let that oxygen get in, let the different aromas and everything come together and then you can serve the wine. For older wines which has a lot of sediments, of course the obvious reasons would be one, oxygen to get into that wine and two, to separate the sediments from the wine, okay? So like I said, I'm not going to be using my pitcher, I just wanted to show you all that you can still use your pitcher if you don't have a wine decanter, but it's good to still try and invest in at least one uh, wine decanter. So let me, right, so I have my wine opener, which is also known as your waiter's friend. <laughs> and uh, usually for servers, I would say when uh, a guest orders their wine and you present the wine, which is the year of the wine, the name of the wine, and the vintage of the wine, and you open the bottle, so I'm going to be opening this. Guys, do you know that there is um, wine fraud? <laughs> I learned that recently. I had no idea. So, I didn't have to use my waiter's friend. This one was a regular cup. And what I'm going to do now is to pour, pour the wine in the decanter. Now, it's recommended that you... Uh, do it at a 45 degree angle, you pour it in. All right. And you can swill it. You also can pour it in to the glass, right? This is for sivers. And then you give it to the host on the table for them to taste the wine, approve the wine, and then you can go ahead and decant. So what I have here is my candle, which I'm gonna light right now. Okay, so you pour the wine in to the counter and you use the candle light. See when you need to stop. This wine is only eight years old, but it does have some little bit of sediments. Oh, it, oh, more sediments than I thought. Right, and then you stop. See that sediment right there? Uh, let me lean this this way. See, you can see the sediments in the bottle. So that is what you don't want to get in your glass to drink or to serve your guest. All right, and after that, you pour. and of course you can do your five steps in tasting the wine again get your aromas in and 
make sure that you know it's sitting there uh, for I would say as I said 30 minutes if you're having guests at home and at the restaurant of course once you pour it into the counter and you have your guests taste the wine <laughs> you can just go ahead and serve the wine after all right okay so that it's very simple but it's only a fraction of the wine actually remains you know and then we have this other wine which i said is a local wine this wine is also eight years old it is a, a fruit wine made from the fruit jamu and i'll also do the same process in the canton this wine so i have my waiter's friend and of course when you are opening a bottle of wine, you want to cut the neck of the wine from here. Okay. Guys, I have a, a little story. <laughs> story time. Um, I know I talked about it in one of my earlier videos last year. About how nervous I used to be opening wines, you know. And... Um, when I just started off in the industry, I was 19 years old and I didn't know how to open a bottle of wine. And there were some mean girls, I used to call them mean girls, <laughs> because they wouldn't teach me how to open a bottle of wine. And they would laugh at me whenever I try to open a bottle of wine and the cord breaks in the bottle and goes down to the bottom of the wine embarrassing moments but it's true so anyway now you're taking the screw make sure it's in the center and then you continue to screw all the way down and then first lever pull up I'm always nervous sometimes opening all the wines because the cork, of course, tends to deteriorate. Sometimes if the bottle has been standing for a very long time, oxygen gets into it, dries out the cork, breaks up the cork and all of that. So I tend to be very more <laughs> cautious when I'm op opening all the bottles of wine. This one isn't too bad. Ah, not too bad. And I, you know, I don't know, sometimes they would say smelling the cork is a fallacy. You can't really get anything from that. But actually, if you smell the cork and you smell like different off scents, like a wet mat or a cat or a dog that is wet and moldy, could probably tell you there's a problem with the wine. Okay. So, all right. So I have my glass of course for servers when you're serving the wine you have your serviette and you're serving the wine always facing the label uh, to your guest and uh, oh what I didn't do was you always take your serviette and wipe the bottle and then you serve mm. And of course, actually you can pour it in the decanter one time, right? So you're gonna do the same thing as I did with the uh, red wine. Keep pouring. Obviously I don't need the, ooh, and stop <laughs> all right so you can see the sediments as well in this one I mean like, hmm yes it's there but it kind of goes into the wine it's not as noticeable as the Windham Pinot Noir but you can actually see the sediments as well in this bottle and once again it's just a fraction of the wine you let it aerate let that oxygen get into it and of course you can serve 
this wine after a wine that has been in the bottle for a very long time sometimes even where red wines tend to look a bit brownish um, it doesn't mean that the wine is not good it just means that the wine is very old and it is recommended that you really decant older wines because you don't want to be drinking the sediments of the wine okay so i think this brings us to the end of the video so i want to thank you all for watching i am very thankful for all who continue to support me with my channel help me reach to at least 500 subscribers please just that red button below click on that and of course click the notification bell follow me on instagram and it would be nice if you comment as well i would appreciate your comments and you can tell me what you would like me to do for another video you can make recommendations as well and i really hope that this video also helps servers to become a bit better at your skill okay so i look forward to seeing your next video take care be safe and goodbye bye